afternoon. I'm TC Chambers, CEO of Smart Finances by TC, and I decided that I wanted to, to come on Facebook here, get a little live, and talk a little bit about money. Um, one of the companies I work with is called My Econ, it's a personal financial success company. And let me check and see if uh, Facebook got us rocking and rolling here, give them a chance to do their thing. And uh, we talk about helping people not just make money, but manage their money, and then ultimately be able to, to multiply their money. So there's some basic uh, terminology uh, and strategies that come along with being able to accomplish that, being able to do that. So I'm gonna to touch on uh, a few of those during this live. Can you give me one second here? All right, looks like we're rocking and rolling, we're live. All right, Facebook is doing their thing. All right, so if you look at the title of this, it's ROI, Return on Investment. So I'm gonna have a little fun with this for a second. So, investing, so a lot of people wanna be investors. It's sexy and exciting. What are you investing in? Well, first, I'm gonna maintain, by the end, you're gonna see, you're gonna get your biggest return on your investment when you invest in you. And I'm gonna show you how to invest in you. So you're investing in a business when you buy a stock and you, you're in a market, that's a company, a business that you're investing in. So many of you are in business but don't realize that you are your biggest investment. You are going to give you a larger rate of return. And there's an offer I made to many of you last week that would have gave you hundreds of percent return on your investments, not just a 20%. So let's look at it. So we are going to talk about positive return on your investment. And we're talking dollars. See, let's look at time. Because a lot of people invest their time. But we don't look at our time as something we should get a return on that investment of. So example, many of you spend time on social media. So what is your return? Let me grab another marker here. See which marker is going to give me the best return. This marker gives me the best return. All right? So, social media. You invest your time in social media. What's your rate of return? What is your return on that time? Uh, is your return likes? And that's what excites you. That's what moves you. Likes, getting likes. That's the return that you want from social media. See, some are just social on social media, and some understand the importance of monetizing their social media. And if you understand how to monetize your social media, you'll realize it has nothing to do with what side of the tracks you grew up on. It has nothing to do with your college degree or not having a college degree. It has to do with you understanding how to use that medium to give you a return on your investment in time. So instead of focusing on likes, which doesn't pay any bills, what happens if you start focusing on dollars? In other words, you have 40,000 followers on Instagram, for example. Does that turn into 40K a month? See, if that turns into the 40K a month, then that means you're earning $1 per month for each follower you have. You're monetizing into that. What if you are earning 25 cents a month? So you monetized your 40,000 followers on social media to be earning you 25 cents a month per follower, well then you'd be making 10K a month. So do all the likes you're getting in a month equate to, I feel good, they like me, or does it equate to 10K a month? So what return are you getting on the investment of your time that you're spending on social media posting, changing outfits, taking pictures, selfie sticks, all those wonderful things you're doing. So you can choose to monetize it or not. So you're either going to get a return of smiles and likes or you're going to get a return of dollars. So you have opportunity and if you don't turn your social media into an enterprise and monetize it, 
off of social media if you're not getting what you want financially from your job or your career. It is not the government's fault. It would be yours for not maximizing the opportunity that you have in hand. Some people have 100 followers and some people have 500,000 followers. So you have opportunity, you just have to understand how to monetize that opportunity. All right, so let's talk some more about return on investment. So I took a couple notes so I can stay on track. All right, so now that I got your attention, return on investment, we're talking positive return on investment. Now, a car. Some people say it's an investment. Let's not argue whether it's an investment or not. But let's determine whether it's a positive return on your investment or not. So when you spend $40,000 on a car, now you're going to get a return of you feel good. You're going to get some likes. You're going to get some he or she is balling. But do you get a positive return on that investment? No. So, is it an investment? Don't worry. Yeah. But it's a bad one. Bad investment. All emotional, all vanity. Get you from point A to point B. From an investor's perspective of a positive rate of return, your bins is a bad investment. It doesn't give you a positive rate of return unless you're renting it out, and that's different. So your Benz, your Mize, your Honda, bad investment. All right? Let's continue on. I made you all an offer last week, but because most people don't think in terms of rate of return or return your investment, I don't believe you truly had an appreciation for that offer. So let's talk ROI. $1. If you invest $1, and on that $1, you get two back, what's your rate of return? What's the return on your investment? Well, in this instance, your return on your investment is 200%. 100%, you got your dollar back, plus another dollar is back since the second 100%. So 200% ROI. But one of those dollars you invested, so you got your dollar back, but the other dollar represents 100% profit. So a dollar in, two dollars out, you got a 200% return on your investment, 200% back, but 100% profit that other dollar. All right? You invest one dollar and you get. 25 cents back. That's a 25% ROI. But if all you got was 25 cents, you lost money. Negative 75%. Now what happens is if you invest $100 and let's say you invest that in a stock. And let's say X, Y, Z company, right? And at the end of the year, it's worth $120. Let's say you took it out, all right? Let's not take consideration taxes and any of that. We're gonna keep it super simple. You invested $100 in January in XYZ company. At the end of the year, it's worth $100. You take $120, $120, you take it out. So that's 120% ROI because you got 120% back. But the $20 is your profit. So you got 20% profit. Now, that would be a good ROI a good investment. So now you understand ROI, return on investment, so you got the whole, got 120% back, but it was 20% profit. All right, take a look at that for a second. Make sure you got it written down. I'm about to erase it, because we're gonna put some more fun things up there. All right, so everybody you track with me so far. All right, I'm ready to erase it. It's going, going, gone.
the high on the board. Now, if I told you to take $100 and start a business with me, $100, and I told you that I'm going to put $200 back into your paycheck, right? That would represent 200% ROI. A 100% profit, which means that profit turns into, in this scenario, $100 PC, positive cash flow. All right? So you got $200 back. 100 was your own money. The other 100 positive cash flow, profit. All right? Now, what I said was we put 200 to 500 back in your paycheck. So the 500, 200, 500, will represent 500% ROI. But because one of the hundreds was yours, so we returned that plus the $400 profit. So you would have got 400% profit or $400 positive cash flow. So you put 100 in, get 200 out, which represents $100 positive cash flow or 100% profit. So you put 100 in that stock and got 120 out or $20 positive cash flow. So which one is better? The stock that gave you $20 positive cash flow, or the business I put you in and put $200 in your pocket, which represents $100 positive cash flow. So you gotta know how to evaluate the return on your investment. $100 to get started, $200 back into your paycheck, or $500 back into your paycheck, significantly more positive cash flow. That would represent a great return on your investment. All right? You got it? $100. Now you're a business owner. You're investing in you. That $100 put $200 in your paycheck up to $500 in your paycheck. Positive cash flow. You haven't sold anything. That's the power of income shifting. Shifting the dollars back in. 200 to 500. $100 positive cash flow, $400 positive cash flow. All right? Now, the second part of it is this. 100 got you started, got you set up, and then it's $35 a month to maintain all the systems, to maintain your status as a business owner. So now we're talking a different return on investment. We're talking a different rate of return. All right? $35. So month number two, you spent $35 to stay a business owner. And in month number two, you put $200 to 500 back in your paycheck, all right? So now, you put 200 to 500 back in your paycheck. 200 divided by 35, that means how many times does 35 go in to 200? 5.7 times, all right? So that means if you spent 35, but got back 200. That represents a 570% ROI on that $200, which, which would represent $165 positive cash flow. 
So you spent 35 and got $200 in your paycheck. That's $165 positive cash flow. Now, what happens if you'd have got the $500? All right? So $500 divided by 35 is 14.2. 14.2 times. Now, what does that mean in ROI? That's a 1,420% return on your investment, which would be a 1,320% profit. But see, you're investing in you, a business, a company, versus somebody else's business. Now, what does that represent? in positive cash flow. 400 and 65 dollars PC, positive cash flow. Now that's every month. So you put in 35, you get 165 out positive cash flow or 465 dollars out positive cash flow. Where else are you getting that return? Out of investing in you and other than doing business with us because no one else is teaching you that. See, I haven't talked to you right now about slaying no product to get that. It's just knowledge and applying that knowledge. See, many of you spend tens of thousands of dollars to go get a post degree. So if you have a master's degree, what did it cost you to go get that master's degree? And then how long did you have to wait to start monetizing that? See, so if you had taken me up on my offer last week, it would have cost you $20 to get $200 to $500 back in your pay. Now, that's a thousand percent return. Do you understand that? A thousand percent return. So, again, 35, 165 positive cash flow because you've got your 35 back plus $165. Now, what do you turn that money into? See, it's not just about 35 giving you 165 positive cash flow. What do you turn that $165 of positive cash flow into? Do you pay down debt with it, which helps you get debt free faster? Do you put it in a retirement account? Do you invest it in sales and marketing tools for your business? Do you invest it in ad spend for your business? So you're a part time affiliate. You're wondering how are you going to pay for your click funnels? How are you going to pay for your Facebook ads? Well, you shift the money back into your paycheck. You get to take the $165 positive cash flow or the $465 positive cash flow, and then you invest it back into your business, back into you. So you can choose to invest it into a market in somebody else's company, somebody else's business, somebody else's legacy building machine, or you can invest it back into your business, your legacy building machine. So I showed you $100 getting started and then $200. So I'm going to give you the offer again. Between now and Sunday, you can invest $19.95. And you can get the system that I'm talking about. That's going to teach you this plus more. So how do you turn $19.95 the first month into $200 to $500? Now, $20 goes into $200 10 times. So that would be 1,000 percent ROI. Where are you getting that at? Where are you getting that at? That would be $180 of positive cash flow. So, for some of my friends that are that have click funnels, all right, click funnels cost $97 $97 a month to maintain click funnels. All right? Well, 
That's two months. So you get started, $20. We put 200 back in your paycheck. There's your click funnels. Plus, you need an Aweber. Or you already had that. You need some ad spend. You have the money, but you just don't know how to access it. You don't understand some specifics about financing money that can help you move the needle. So my offer again is $19.95, get started today. And I'm gonna help you understand that I don't just how to make money, how to manage your money, and then how to multiply your money. What do you do with this $180 a month positive cash flow? Because every month you're gonna get positive cash flow. So now, $35 to maintain your system every month. That's $165 of positive cash flow. That's if we just help you put $200 back in your paycheck. It's usually $200 to $500. Now, all the details, you can easily find out all the details. I'll make sure I attach it at the bottom of this live. I'm also going to post this on YouTube, so you might be watching this on YouTube. But here's all you need to do. I'm not even going to send you to my sales phone. All my friends and, and click rolls down are like, what? No, 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 no. You gotta send them to the sales phone. You gotta get their email addresses. No. I'm gonna send you directly to my site where you can directly access the 1995. I'll know when you come on board. So I'll have your email address and then I can tell you what to do next and I can tell you all the bonuses that I'm gonna provide for you. See, one of the bonuses I'm gonna provide for you is an internet starter pack, so getting started online. So internet marketing, YouTube, Facebook Messenger. So to help you understand how do you maximize those different social media platforms, Instagram. How do you start monetizing those? That's bonus. That's over and above all the value that you're already getting. So all you're gonna need to do is go to T Chambers, dot my econ dot net so you don't have to search all around put in slash join dash now now understand someone invited you on here that's not me what you need to do is go to their site not mine so if you're watching this live or you're watching this replay because you're a part of my personal network, that's where you go. But if someone is doing a watch party, you're on their watch party, then you need to go to their website. So you just message them, hey, where do I go? Or if you're doing a watch party, you message your folks and you tell them where they need to go directly to take advantage of that. So there's no excuse. Now, here's, let me put this in perspective and then I'm finished. Now, I'm from Philly, born and raised. My Sixers took a shellacking last night. Not happy about that. But what that leads me to talk to is this. There were a lot of you that was out at a bar, a pub, a sports bar, had playoff watch parties at the crib, right? But let's say you were out at a sports bar. You invested time last night. You invested money last night. What's the rate of return on that? See, you cannot cry conspiracy. Well, the system is against me. This is against me. The Trumpster is against me. No, no, no. You, if you're watching this, that means you're on social media. You just treated it socially and not like your enterprise. So it's nobody's fault but yours if you don't monetize this platform. I just gave you an opportunity to spend $20, which you spent way more on last night if you were at a pub watching a basketball game or watching a soccer match. So you have all the power within you to move the needle on your finances. You just have to start acting like a CEO of your finances. When you act like a CEO of your finances, you're gonna say, I need to get all the knowledge, tools, and vehicles I can to help me move the needle on my finances. If you're an affiliate marketer, it's no different. You're a business owner, so you have to understand all the responsibilities you have as a CEO of your business, even on a part-time basis. 
if you're a parent and you're affiliate marketer and you're part-time, oh, the world is yours. There's so many deductions you can get to help you shift these dollars. So, I thank you for taking time out of your lunch to watch this or later in the day when you're watching this. And the information is actionable right now. You don't have to wait to a two-year degree, an 18-month post-degree, a four-year degree. You can take this information that I'm giving you right now and monetize it. 80% of you, the IRS says 80% of employees, so that means you Ivy League, you private school, state school, educated, educated. 80% of you are having too much money withheld from your paycheck. So you, you, you dress in really nice clothes, you drive in nice whips, but you're losing money because you don't have the specifics, the financing money to help you move the needle. We're offering that information to you. Absolutely it's not free. When you got your bachelor's degree, was it free? Your associate's degree, your master's degree, your PhD, your medical degree, was it free? No. So the knowledge and tools to help you move the needle are not free. But your rate of return will be so much higher and it's immediate. So the offer stands tchambers.myecon.net slash join now. The offer's there. So take care. See you guys later.